We're in a housing crisis that seems to have no end in sight. Today, about 25% of homeowners nationwide are underwater, meaning they owe more on their homes than the properties are worth. But doesn't that mean, or does it mean, you should jump right into bankruptcy? Fox News legal analyst Bob Massey joins us from Las Vegas. Hi, Bob. Good morning. Bob, let's talk about what people should do if they are underwater. Yep. Let's give them three tips. Should they consider loan modification? Okay, now, this is a little roadmap for our viewers. If you don't care about the value of your house, if you love your house that much, the kids love the house, they play, play in the street with the kids, close to the church, close to the supermarket, convenient, but you're not really worried about value, then you have to try loan modification first. The problem is, as I've covered for months, the loan modification program in this country, the HAMP program, has been a failure. But I want our viewers to know do not despair. Continue to fight for it, even though it's frustrating, because that's really what you want to try if you want to keep the home regardless of value. All right. Will you explain to us what a short sale is and if people underwater should consider that? Yeah, short sale is the next alternative. And basically what it means is you sell your house for less than what it's worth. A lot of people want to do this if they fell on modification and say, look, I'm a responsible person. I want to pay part of my loan back. I want to save my credit a little bit. So therefore, I will consider a short sell. The most important thing on a short sell, and again, I've covered it, if you get a short sell approval, if the lender approves your short sell, make sure the deficiency, the difference between what is owed and what it's sold for is waived. If it's not waived, a short sell is not good for you because they still have the right, the lender, to come after you yep. for that deficiency. Make sure you have somebody competent to review that approval letter. And when should you consider a foreclosure? When all else fails. I mean, and let me tell you, part of that is these lenders beat you down so bad because you're so emotionally distraught. They treat you like you're a criminal. They're condescending. Yep. That is your last resort. But understand, in each state, there's different deficiency laws. Make sure you get advice on what the deficiency laws are if your house is foreclosed on. Okay, great advice for us today, Bob Massey. If you have questions out there for Bob, please email them to us at foxandfriends.com. Bob Massey, thanks so much. Thank you. Happy Fourth of July to everybody. You too.